Good evening, YouTube. This is Spirit Journey, and it is December 30th, 2014. I'm resting right now, and it's uh, about 9.30 p.m. Earlier today, like a, a little over an hour ago, I was doing a video, and it accidentally cut itself off, and um, it advised that um, I delete some files in order to be able to tape any future videos. So that's what I did. Well, what I was saying in my last video, um, it was about, you know, what was 2014 like for me, you know, my, my thoughts and opinions. and. The last thing I was mentioning was that um, that blacks and other oppressed so-called minorities in the world, or just oppressed people in general, or you know around the world, that um, the media is relying on us to overreact, to get uh, violent in short. And this would give the media and authorities reason to arrest and to do things. For, for example, um, just recently in New York, uh, a young man was upset about the killing of the man that, I, I forget his name, I, I apologize for forgetting the name, but he's the one that said, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. It happened in Staten Island. And uh, I saw for the first time uh, in its entirety um, his execution, you know, and uh, he clearly says, I can't breathe. And I just can't believe what, what I was watching. It was very horrific to, to know that he actually died from that attack. Even though there was, there was no blood, but it was a grisly, violent, you know, murder of a innocent, you know, an innocent man. And his hands, what I was watching, what I noticed, he, his hands were, weren't even in a fist. It was open, and he's like displaying, hey, I'm not here to harm you, you know. And uh, he died senselessly. So, it's things like this that, oh, that, you know, we, we all watched it. And an individual put in his own hands, drives to New York, and just killed, murdered, two police officers. So when things like this happen, you know, you know that, that he popped, the, 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 the shooter, he, he popped and he took matters in his own hands, and killed two innocent cops. It's, it, it was, again, another waste of life. We have, you know, when things like that happen, the system could um, really go against us. Even though you have a valid concern, you know, a murder of an unarmed man, you know, the man from uh, Staten Island, which is in New York City. Um, we have to think clearly, because what if it was like a manhood? What if the, the, that guy didn't commit suicide? At least they say that he committed suicide after the shooting of the two police officers in Brooklyn. They could have done another manhunt and just start breaking into people's houses who they think, oh, they're harboring him or something, and 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 um, just really commit violence against any black person, because again, as we see, uh, what's the trend in in the United States? I thought that he was armed, or oh, my life felt threatened, and it gives them reason to continue doing violence against us, and that's what they're relying on. So for 2014, 
One of the lessons that I like to share with YouTubers is that we have to learn how to stay calm enough to 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 really be not not reactive but give a wise response okay we need to do this okay that that's essential so this is part of the pattern that i see that the media now is just showing all this gruesome thing and, and killings of black people. You know, even that young child, what's he, 12 years old, he's playing with a toy gun. And the police just, just shoot him dead. They're looking for reasons to kill um, black men. So we really have to be wise because you don't want the, these SWAT teams to just come in. You know, it was just a couple of years ago, you know, to emphasize my point. A woman, what was that? Um, I think it was a, a, a rape, a serial rapist in Queens, Queens, New York. And... Um, They took out a SWAT car. The these you know the men that are heavily armored and got the body vest. You know the I'm sorry the the vest bulletproof vest on. And they had their canine. Because their canine was barking. Near this house, they stormed into that house. It had an elderly, very old lady and a young girl. And the, the young woman was concerned for the mother's health. I think something, you know, she started to, you know, her heart, she had heart problems. But could you imagine you're sitting in your own home, minding your own business, and then a SWAT team comes to your house and trying to, you know, knock down your door? I would have been petrified. There are other neighborhoods that... that you know, rape occurs. It happens in every every city. Unfortunate. But you know, it's never. You know that. Remember the young. It was a young boy. Um, it's about eight years old. He's an uh, Orthodox Jewish boy. And he's grisly murdered by another Jewish man, but not of the same. Um, denomination and they were trying to track down the killer they they finally got the, the killer but you notice the SWAT team didn't come into their neighborhoods and just break down doors so, the, so I'm seeing a pattern and this is where the next you know this part of this video is going to, you know, steer into the the concept of, you know, seeing a pattern. The media is depicting events and is revealing a pattern, a pattern of desensitizing death in the media for everyone to see especially if it's a black person. And then how they use force against these people and that it chooses to use certain force only in certain communities and not others. So as we see that, you know, you had a crime against someone, like in the case of, of the rape that was in uh, Queens or in, in New York City, but they decide to use a SWAT team in a predominantly black area, and just at random, because a dog bark, you know, their, their work dog bark, oh, this must be the, the house 
Maybe the person's hiding in here. A dog would bark at anything. Okay, and I have these dogs right here. They're not barking now, but they could bark. Anything could trigger a dog's bark, barking. But in the case of the uh, young Jewish boy who got murdered, you know, and they, they had cut his body in pieces, this, this, this murderer. But yet, the SWAT team to, you know, with the canine, and they didn't just go into any house. So we see here that it's a, what do you call it, a carte blanche of what you can do in black neighborhoods or poor ethnic neighborhoods. We have to be careful not to be reactive, but give wise response. I can't overemphasize that. So this is a must for 2015. We have to, you know, be wise. And there were some other things that I wanted to talk about. Oh yes, with regarding to patterns. This year, 2014, I started to really notice the patterns, you know? Patterns in history. Seeing patterns like, mm, Christopher Columbus. Who was he? What did he do? And what was the, the outcome of his involvement? I also look at, you know, the, the September 11th, 2001, with the Twin Towers and Building 7 being destroyed. Who was the common denominator there? Who was the least, the primary leaseholder of that building? Who had prior knowledge? Or it appears like some type of prior, some knowledge of an event. That was the first time it happening in, in history that I know of, especially in the United States. Who did they arrest in, in New Jersey that was dancing on a white truck, on top of a white truck? Who are these individuals? And what happened to them? What was the outcome for these individuals? When you go into parades, I mean not parade, I, I meant to say uh, demonstration. I have gone to only one demonstration in my lifetime with uh, um, Trayvon Martin two and a half years ago or so. Go, actually going on three years. Who did I see at that demonstration? Why were they there? What were they doing? And what was the outcome? Since you you guys weren't there, you know, um, I can only tell you what happened. People were the the the, the cops all all of a sudden got excited, and it started to get physical, and then. A particular moment, I feared for my life when I saw the cops were starting to aggression. And again, cops carry guns, and we already see what happens when they feel threatened. Okay? 
But the people who were there that were, you don't know why they're there, you know, they're, they're, they're just there. And they don't look like me. Or a lot of the other people at the Trevor Martin demonstration. But they were there. And what was the outcome? A potential riot. And then with the Michael Brown, there were, there were demonstrations uh, near the, was that, the, the Brooklyn Bridge. And you had people there. And they didn't look like people from Michael Brown's neighborhood or community. But they were at this demonstration. And then these individuals attacked the cop. The intention wasn't to kill the cop. As the video shows, it just says that, that he just wanted to, him to be put down on the ground and then run. What did these individuals look like? Why were they there? What did they do? And what was the outcome? Get another thing that was to promote to to elicit, you know, you know, a hyper vigilance against people who are, you know, dem demonstrating. Then I look in history. You look at countries that, um, like in Russia. You had people in the Russian Revolution who were promoting what was called communism or socialism. Who are the people behind communism and socialism in Russia? Who were they? What were their names? What were their, back, their backgrounds? What was the outcome of 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 the the movement there? Look at the media. Who runs the media? Who decides what's go what goes on TV, what doesn't? Who decides what's the flavor of the month within uh when, when you're watching a movie, they have uh, black people on. Who was Donald Sterling? Who was he? Or who is he? What did he do? And what was the outcome? What was the outcome that he wanted? Each one of these things that I mentioned has a common denominator. Yet any group could have done what they did. But the fact that this is what they did and what they are doing now. I start to see a pattern that I did not want to see. But it was presented to me and I I can't, I can't deny these patterns. There are things that are going on in the media. And everything that we see is by design. Excuse me. I think I might have said David Sterling rather than Donald Sterling. If you know the the guy that used to own the uh, basketball team, just in case I if I said the wrong name, that that's what I meant to say. Don, Donald Sterling. There are things going on, and um, 
these individuals can think decades, centuries, millennial ahead of time. And so everything that, that, that we see happening now is as planned. So this gives more reason for us to be very careful on what we do publicly and what we say. I'm seeing patterns that I didn't want to see and I can't hide from those patterns. But I have to be very, very careful. So I, so for 2015, I want us to be careful. I want us to be observant. I want us to document things that you see going on. So for 2015, I pray for awareness and I pray for spiritual enlightenment, wisdom, and special ability to get things done in my personal life and my, my general life. So again, start noticing the pattern. Be observant. Speak wisely. Speak with um, will thought. So this is the thoughts that I have for this December 30th. 2014 and I pray for peace for our community. So take care and enjoy and have a safe Happy New Year. Bye-bye.